And I hate this narrative that y'all keep trying to that that that, that is keep getting pushed out there. So it, it's complete BS. And I know because I lived it. Everybody asks me why did we move? Why? How did I end up in Augusta? You got to ask this question because the west side of Atlanta. If you knew the west side of Atlanta, it was the worst place to be in. And you got to ask yourself this question right here: How? What am I willing to sacrifice? Do I sacrifice my kids? to be able to save an area. And, and, and I think that's the question you gotta ask. If your kids is not in a healthy place, hold on, no, let me finish. If your kids- No, we talking about though, Emmanuel. Yeah, yeah. You are, you are, you are. You are. No, no, you, no, you, you know what I'm saying? Emmanuel, I love my family. You said this earlier, Emmanuel, and, I, and I'm glad that you brought that back. <laughs> Martin Luther King loved his family. Yeah, My he did. Family. I was just thinking about that. Family, you trying to make this bullshit ass narrative like people that was that people that was down with the community and people that were leading the community still weren't family first. That's My, not what I, no, thought. I think what he's he's speaking to the fact that no, New York mentioned people no, moving no, away from those no, communities no, and moving no, to other areas no, instead no, of staying put in those neighborhoods. The most so, famous so, picture of Malcolm X is him standing at his own home window with the rifle. You got to let him finish his point, though. You got to let him finish his point. Yeah, yeah. Go ahead, go ahead and finish your point, uh, Ime. <laughs> the, the problem is that y'all not listening. Y'all just trying to respond. I asked the question, what is more important, your next generation or you staying in the neighborhood? The point that new girls say is that they did gentrification. In West Side, it's a good place now, so they should have sacrificed twenty years of staying there with the, in the worst school system. Are you what, asking me that, or are you telling me that's what I said? Because that's not what I said. Okay. So you want to push your narrative? Go ahead. Once again, push your narrative. New Grove did not. He didn't, that's not what New Grove said. Yeah, he didn't what say that. Yeah. Okay. So let me cl clarify real quick because yeah. I, I got something I want to I want to say. Yeah. Clarify uh, your statement, uh, New Girl. Yeah, I want to state. I didn't finish. My Jedi point is, no one tell you to stay there if you're in a situation where you can't. But if the neighborhood is growing and developing, and if you see Correct. that this area is becoming the new cat, most cities are moving back to the um. Uh, most people are moving back to the cities and out of the suburbs. Why not take a chance? And on the same point. Why, how did these white people take a chance to move to these most violent neighborhoods and all of this? What was so courageous about them? They didn't care about their kids. When they went over here, now they sitting in $700,000 houses that our grandmama, our, um, our auntie sold our grandmother's house for $100,000. What I've I mean, seen in Atlanta, what I've seen in Atlanta, new growth, which I think is interesting, is what's going on actively in Atlanta, because you brought it up, is people who look like us Mm -hmm. right who are going in and they're buying these houses they, they they're, they're, they're paying these uh 20 grand mm -hmm. taking these houses up under grandmama and them right instead of educating them and then they're flipping you the right. house for four hundred thousand and and putting that money in their pocket these are our people you're definitely right and then they're you're selling right. it for four hundred thousand to a white person you and ain't again, no. bingo. I, I blame, and again bingo. this is this How's is that a, this, bingo what are you so excited about <laughs> you know, we, 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 right. what are you so excited this, about that fool? this this yes. is, no one this, said black people were perfect we didn't no, say we're we didn't not talking about we're, no, 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 we're not talking about perfection we're talking about a disconnect the disconnect in our culture meaning that we're not looking after one another we're looking after self no. right because here again when i look at the black statistics about black businesses what do i see i see black individuals doing really really well 
but collectively we're doing really, really bad. And so again, what are we what kind of business are we? You said it yourself, new growth. You're That's doing well true, in real estate. I can give you facts that I black can pull people, up the statistics right now. I got the receipts. New growth. I got, listen. I got the receipts too. Then put them up right now. Okay. Let's put them up. Everybody put, put them your receipts. But listen, out. I'm gonna let you know. Black people own have most of black businesses are 35 percent in a um medical in a home care field. That's the that's the largest percentage of the, all minorities in America. But that's Asians not what we're... that y'all talk about a lot, they have the most restaurant businesses. So let's not talk like we're just around here selling hair weeds. Stop that's pushing not these what, narratives. That's not what, that's not what, 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 that's not what you're saying, man. That's not what I said. Again, new growth. It seems like when I speak, you have a tendency to want to listen in order just to complain about what I'm saying. Is all that right? that's your opinion? All right, it sounds like a good one to me. Put well, your stats your in the chat. You put, your, put, your, you. put your receipts in this in the chat, and then let Black Man Unfiltered pull it up. Because I'm gonna pull mine up, and it's gonna crush what you're saying. Okay, man, you always want somebody to pull something up. You always say pull because, something because up. Because this put is your the problem. Face on the thing, because so, new growth. So, this was the man, problem. I prove nothing to you, bro. It's not. You're I'm not sick proving of it to me. To prove everything to you. This is the. Listen, this is the I problem. can give. I'm gonna put new the growth. website in. I'm gonna put the website in the chat. Please, please do. Because see, new growth, you, 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 for whatever reason, think that me and you are competing. I'm not competing with you. This is this. No, is it's, it's not about competing. I think you think you know more than everybody else because you see, you, you can't talk to me like I'm a child. I'm not your child. I never Nobody said you were. Nobody is your child, so you can't just tell me out of were. the blue that I what you're saying you is wrong. That's no, I didn't say that, brother. I no, I didn't say that. I yes, never you did say that. that prior. No, I didn't. What I said okay. was. I, what I what you did was miss what you mistook what I said. See, there you go. I'm wrong again. Else. Okay, you're right. It's not about being wrong or right. You're the only one over here talking about wrong or right. This so is what not about a wrong or right so argument? What? You told you told the whole argument that what I say when I talk to you, all I'm doing is trying to argue because you're that's wrong. what you're doing. Because you're you, because you're not listening to what I'm saying. You're miss what you're doing is taking what I'm saying and you're changing the words around. I'm hearing you that. state facts, what you mm -hmm. claim is facts, and I dispute when the fact comes in. Like you said, that's that fine. The bus boycotts. They say if you own more black buses, I said no, that's wrong because there were plenty of black bus systems throughout the South at that time. But that's I all that's, I said. You're you right. had a big okay. conniption fit. Let no, me no, 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 no. I, I just one, wanted to correct you on my history. Period. Oh, okay. So let me let me correct you. The problem was you were talking about something I was not even talking about. And again, you were listening. You were listening to argue, not listening to understand. I was that's listening what, to what you said. You said that's that not where there I was, was if they had the black boy. I mean, that they would lose businesses if these black people started to own their own bus. Situations. That's not what you said. If they own their own you, bus systems and do you stuff. Understand, but do you understand the context and no, what I was saying? I just corrected you on what you said. I'm but, not talking about your point. Your point can so be what valid. Was the point? All but, I just but, said, let's not go down a false road of not having the truth. Because when you do that, you give the impression to people who don't know, wow, black people didn't own their own bus lines. But I didn't see that's say the that. narrative that's already no, but, out there though. No, but so I didn't are you say that. are you aware of the black bus systems that were prevalent in New that growth. time? New growth. Listen. Can you I answer to, yes or no? To, we need to, we need to start from the top. Hold on. Can you answer yes or no? No, I need you to we need to start from the top because see, again, look, you miss again. No, no, no I, I, all I'm asking is a yes or no. You can let it go and you can tell me what you want to tell me. You were aware of that? Of all the um public black owned bus systems throughout the South. It's a yes or no question, brother. Come on. You, See, this shows your arrogance. You don't. This shows your arrogance. All you got to do is say yes or no. This has nothing to do with arrogance. All, I gotta, all you got to do is say yes or no. I'm waiting for you to finish so I can talk. I'm asking you a question. All I'm waiting for you to do is say yes or no. Were you aware of this? Let me ask you, what do you think? <laughs> no, I'm asking you. But I got to pull up receipts. I got to show you. you stuff. And you can't I'm even answer you. a question, yes it's or no. It's not about, but the, the problem is, again, you again, took what I said. Again, displacement, you going you on took, to something else. It's not a Look, I don't want to monopolize the show, brother. Whatever you say, it's not, I'm not, it's not about me and you. It's about a panel discussion. So go ahead and say what you want to say. Much respect. I'm going to listen in. 
And then when you say things that I don't agree with, I'm just gonna keep my mouth shut. No, you can speak. This is not about that. You over here making this personal. You're the only one on here making this personal. Because this is why you're I keep talking pointing about it out. something that's personal to me. You're talking about something that's personal to me as if you lived it, as if you're four or five generations in. So were you a, New Grove, were you a slave? I misunderstood. Maybe, maybe I misunderstood. Was I a slave? See, there I'm you asking go. you a question. Were you a slave? I'm asking you a question. Were you a slave? No, I wasn't. Or were I, you a slave? Of course I wasn't so a slave. So what did you live, sir? Please but explain But that's my ancestry was. What did you live? You said you, you lived it. What did you live? I left segregation. I lived... Um, how old are you, New Grove? I lived... My grandmother, all of these how things are you, passed down from generations. How old are you, New Grove? I'm 42 years old. Okay, and you were born in I what lived year? The, I lived um the crack epidemic. I lived it. I lived when your you Jamaicans from slavery came into to the, segregation. I, to the I crack lived when epidemic. Jamaicans came into New York and DC and flooded the street with crack and ran the murder rate up high. I lived that. See, we if you really want to keep it real, I real. lived it. You the talk problem, the problem that I, you the problem I have with you the problem I have with you and we're going to be clear since we're having a conversation right mm -hmm. here's my here's my issue while I was giving a statement I was making a statement I was putting out facts you felt the need to interrupt and correct something that what we weren't even that talking about that wasn't factual that's all you took you what said I said you out of context out facts. I corrected pull, something pull, that wasn't pull, a fact pull. you took what I said out of context no you just said you were giving out facts right so if what, what you said so was not you. factual, so did, did I you. not correct I'm a, you? I'm gonna restate, restate what I said. Okay. How about that? Let's start from there. And you point out what I said wrong. Well, no, I'm just being honest because you took what I said. It's not concept. necessary, brother. I apologize. I'm gonna let you run with your narrative. I'm not here to argue with you. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's I hard thought, to tell. I thought we were trying to have. I thought we were trying to have a productive discussion about about our cultures, right? But it seems like to me. Uh, this is me now you can correct me if i'm wrong it perceives that you 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 you're more aware than than a lot of us are no because maybe you read a couple of books no not at all well, okay. uh, you know, let me, on, let, me okay. let me let me say something real quick because here, here's the here's the issue the problem on the last time we had this conversation there was a lot of people on here speaking opinions mm -hmm. and they're speaking from their feelings uh, and i suggested yeah, that we yeah, come we with our receipts that's a that fair was, that's, that's a fair a, statement. That was Come a on. fair argument. If you're gonna come up here, if you're gonna come up here and run your mouth about stuff, then see now here you go. You go bring, right bring back the information. The whole... Bring the information. That's all I said. I'm giving you the information. So you tell you me. You took what I said out of context. That's okay. different. And you interrupted me while I was talking. I so again, here's the problem. You have an issue with what I'm saying. You have an issue that I'm not ADOS. That's a personal problem. I don't sir. care if you ate also. Then then be quiet while I'm speaking. FDA. Then. I have a, oh, I have an issue. So, 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 so listen, man. I appreciate you having me on the platform. So listen, man. E man, you running? E man, don't run. E man, don't run. No, he ain't running. Okay, so so listen, listen, it is pointless. Listen, listen. So I want, so he y'all made y'all points, all right. So I let y'all have that. And so I think this. Somebody in the comments said this, and I want to see if you agree with it. Okay, uh, new growth. This is I'm I'm in I'm in the in the middle of this thing. So listen. It's all good. Uh, somebody said, great conversation. I think New Growth has an issue uh, with Nate because he's from another heritage. No, I don't have an issue with that. I love Jamaicans. I go to Jamaica often. I love the people. I love the culture. I love the people that are from the roots of Jamaica. Some of the most humbling, some of the most loving, some of the most people that's on our side. I go there and chill out for months at a time. I have no problem with Haitians, Nigerians, anything like that. But I have a problem sometimes when people seem to feel like they know more than our plot. It's like, I don't even understand why it's such a big deal. Or you, I mean, I, I would love to ask, why are you so concerned with this? I mean, because like you said, you stated, you wow. said you're not, you said you're not. That's going a to question I should ask, right? should be well, asking you. That's a good question. I think it's a good question. I'm saying, I'm I'm saying, saying, you said you're not going to get reparation either or. So why is it such a a big movement for you to get in between and kind of like go against certain things? Hey, hold on, hold on. Before you answer that, Nate, that's where the disconnect is right Thank you. there. Thank right. You. you just got to it right there. Yep. New growth. The the topic is not ADOs. The topic is not reparations. The top that that's 
that's where we got off base right there. Is you come, I think you're thinking about this from a reparation standpoint, which is an important topic. But the topic that we're addressing, and I think Nathan's more focused on, is what can we do to actually get the black community back on track? Now, most of us on this panel uh, believe that reparations isn't going to happen during our lifetime anyway. So that's not really even the topic of what we were talking about. OG Patrice came in and she, she's an advocate for it. So of course, because she advocates for it, and we as gentlemen are always going to respect the ladies, she knows that she can come on this platform and she's going to get that grace to speak about her advocacy. But that was not the point of the conversation at all. Okay. And and the last point that I want to make, just because you from the from the D.C. area like me, so I understand where you coming from as far as we from a place where, yeah, we don't like all that uppity shit. So I understand that you want to check these facts or whatever. But even if you was right, New Growth, even if uh, the boycott, I mean, the bus systems in the, in the South were run by black people, that's not it moving the conversation forward ultimately on what the topic is of 2022. So that was the bigger point is that, yes, you were right, but you being right is not really adding the value to this topic. So that's why we kind of just kind of danced over it and did not want to give it the attention that you wanted to give. Okay, it. I can respect that. I okay, so that. and he had a question for so Nathan had a I mean not Nathan New York had a that. question for Nathan about why is it so important to you and you said back right, back to New York that I can answer it I don't know if he heard you but you said I can answer it mm -hmm. so answer that question yeah. for me, Nathan yeah I can answer and and, to, and I appreciate B nine for pointing that out because he's he's absolutely right and I was saying in reference to what I was saying about the bus boycott I believe New York you took what I was saying out of context. And I wasn't saying that black people didn't have and that they weren't doing. I was saying that white people didn't want to be choked out of the business. And I was making that comparison as far as what we need to do in our own communities, because we have people in our communities who are benefiting and we don't have those businesses to even compete. So the reality is in my vision that I think is, is a great idea for us to do is to compete and choke these people out of the businesses in our community. But that's that is impossible. The reason, the reason is impossible. Let me tell you why it's impossible. Mail service. Ne haven't been propped for the last 60 years, but the government is still paying for it. The bus service is not profitable. These are not profitable businesses, so you can't compete with them. But Emmanuel, backed by the government. Emmanuel, the problem, the only problem I have with you is you, you, you don't believe black people can achieve anything is what it sounds like to me. We're yeah. not concerned about profit. We're concerned about taking back ownership. It's but not, see, and, and, and if we focus, if we, but Nate, you, you can do it. If we, it's you simple. Can't take back ownership if you complete. So if the black people bus costs three dollars and the city bus costs twenty five cent, majority of people gonna go with the cheaper option. And the reality is, if we're not willing to make that sacrifice, then we're doomed as a people anyway.